We are live. Boom. We're a minute. We're a minute late. Bart was talking. He had me distracted. I did. Well, first of all, Scott was completely blown away by the mixing of genres that I am currently enthralled with or robed in. Cowboy hat and a manga shirt, baby. Manga. <laughs> Look at that. That's like large and in charge. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's what i'm bringing and i needed it because this house it's been like the bublonic 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 oh, yeah wow i can't talk bublonic bubonic plague around here is what's going on not with me but with the young lad uh for everybody that's tuning in bart was iffy bart was questionable he came in about two minutes ago you've got a sick nine-year-old and yeah. he's been uh number one number two -in, and number three and all over the place <laughs> number three is a good way to call it that's everything <laughs> i can just tell you it was so bad there was a bath that was required and then a separate cleansing and then oh. another bath that's all i'm uh, saying there no need that's the i rode in on a white horse with a katana is why I'm wearing these two shirts. I was a Ronin and a Marshall all at the same time. Maybe a Ranger. There you go. It's like a thing. <laughs> well, let's. Uh, I've got a little moniker I'm going to try out. Bart doesn't know if he's too wild about it. We're going to welcome everybody to our whiskey talk and friendship time. Good or whiskey talk fabric. Whiskey talking fabric could be whiskey topics and fabric whiskey tops topics friendship. Uh, yeah, wh whiskey talking fabrics. That will be. Um, we were trying to think of something to refer to our little uh, YouTube presence here in these shows, and it'll be might be. You guys let us know if you like that or not. If you can figure that one out. Well, I think it's like a virtual. Uh, it's, it's like the video whiskey fabric, but that would make it VWF. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, cause, uh, here's what I'm continually surprised and shocked by. It's become like this little gathering place for the whiskey fabric in the comments. And then uh -huh. what I'm even more astonished by or surprised by is then there's this after party that's just kind of sprung up um who's running that after party food quig yeah and then, i mean we didn't coordinate that we just saw it so food quig's like hey the, the the dummies are done come over to the after dummies video party and you saw one that went on for like three hours right five what <laughs> he's, got, he's got a five hour after party now that's my kind of after party i i might have, i might even run out of bloviation at like hour 3.2 so and that is um, everybody the invite just went out to our mystery guest our mystery guest does not know or did not know he was being invited boom he is, uh, he is commenting, he's watching. So um, if you review whiskey on YouTube, check your emails right now. Oh my God, you're gonna have a lot of sad people now. And look for an invite. Because there's a bunch of people checking their email and they're not gonna see it. It's someone new who has not been on the show before. There's not a lot of people. I mean, we got a few people that watch and comment that uh, oh. review on YouTube. You're going to have a lot of people saying WTF when they don't get the email. That's whiskey talk and friendship. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're going to take a look from the Tobermory Distillery. Lechegg 10. <laughs> You're <my> killing me. <laughs> I moved it around trying to find a good spot, and I finally settled up here, and then I was like, wait a minute, where'd it go? Right. Now, here's what's going to happen. I was going to come over to Scott's house because we knew we were going to, well, we were pretty sure we'd have a mystery guest. But when when diphtheria broke out in my house, Scott did not enter, but he ran this over because, yes. because I had a quarantine sign on the front door. 
It was like a cholera outbreak was going on over here. How many of these pandemics can I work in? <laughs> we got bubonic so, plague, which I can't say cholera and diphtheria are going on. We've got Lecheg 10, and what are we going to do, Bart? Oh, we're going to test it! <laughs> you had your glass up to your mouth and everything. I did. I was about ready to sip. Here's what happened when, when yellow fever broke out. I started to scotch it. Okay, immediately I was like, what do I need to do with this? And I thought, scotch it. So in the midst of explosions and eruptions, I would uh, I would bleach and then self-medicate with scotch. So I've, I've had a Laphroaig already, but it was a small little Laphroaig tin that was, it's almost a heel slay. And then not wanting to mess up the Lecheg, I broke out some, some Crown NHR, which is subtle, smooth, and won't mess up my uh, my palate with too much peat. Have we had a response from the mystery guest? No. Okay. Uh, if you get it, there'll be a link in the email to have you join in. Uh, if you don't have Google Hangouts installed, it'll walk you through the installation process and then bring you right in. Right. That is the deal. We wanted to keep this a surprise. So uh, the person that we invited... Um, didn't have any forewarning, so work with us. But uh, Scott was like, do you think you'll be able to fill time? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, we had to, I confirmed he was going to be tuning in tonight. And uh, uh, Dimple Zone is right he, yeah. uh, in his guess. Good. We so, kind of hit there. By, by the way, I have no idea what quote that is. Corbin Dallas Multipass. I don't oh, know. yeah. A uh, Dram dude already got that one. Quick. Wow. What a Dram dude say fifth element oh really i should have that you actually introduced me to fifth element oh yeah great show i still not, watch that every once in a while i had not seen it and you said it's trippy and you were right you know what i'm gonna i'm hoping to start doing soon i gotta get a uh, projector but we want to start doing outdoor movie night like uh once a month outside we're going to have something in fifth element well i don't know sometimes there's kids around but uh like i want to do a casablanca where we're literally shooting the movie up on the wall of our of the shop with like a i don't know like a white sheet that's magneted to the wall and then the neighbors just wander over all the fire pit going and they can just watch all these old movies what do you think of that that sounds great would you come over for that, or is that not your thing? No, I'd do that, yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. The cool thing is it's just open, so the neighbors might wander over, dogs are running, chupacabras are running around. Uh, for those that are tuning in and not watching the comments, uh, a couple guesses have come in that Food Quig is the mystery guest, and you guys are right. We've sent an invite to Food Quig, and he's probably walking through the process of installing Google Hangouts right now. Look at that. What? If, he did, if he didn't show up, we're going to break out a bottle of wow. Well, I got to tell you, what I was hoping was that he would have his own own live stream going again. Right. Uh, there was one show a few weeks ago. He sat down and he live streamed himself tasting the same whiskey we were taking, tasting while we were live streaming. Right. Now, that being said, he's got to have Google Hangouts loaded because he runs his own Google Hangouts. Um, yeah, you know, I've seen that a time or two and he, there was, it was another, um, he wasn't using Google Hangouts. It was another one. Oh, all right. I'm not all that technically savvy. Yes. Hey. And, I, and we knew that food quig had the Lecheg 10. So we thought that'd be a good one to have with him. Right now, since we're filling time, I want to tell you something that is amazing. We got some help. A lot of help with our web page. Brand new web page. Go check out scotchdestums.com. But on there, and you can tell them how to get there. I, I think I remember how. But you can find Brian Hunter had been collecting a list of all of our shows and all of our whiskey ranking scores, which is 1 to 100. Holy moly, did I not spend a half hour going through those and laughing. I ran into the one where I think you rated the Lefroy 10 like an 89.5 or something. I can't remember the exact score, but you threw a 0.5.
Well, you know, we record multiple shows in a sitting. So the very next bottle we reviewed, which off the top of my head, I can't remember it. I gave it a score of like an 88.927. <laughs> and that's not exact either. But Brian Hunter included that in the score. And then it not only does our individual scores with your plus and minus, by the way, it looks like you or maybe our Scottish buddy added in my plus and minus. And I was like, why is that on there? Well, there must have been, there was one show where I kind of mocked you and I gave, well, it was the Kentucky Deluxe when we were the grumpy old man. I gave it a plus or minus of six, depending on when the social security check shows up. That is well, the thing. Is, well, two uh, two things. First of all, Santa Cruz and loves the cowboy hat versus the wig. But Woo! I believe that uh, in our on the new website on the ratings page, you got the plus or minus because the person that created that believes that will become very popular and everyone will be using that system in the near future. All right. Well, it could, but I also had one plus or minus. So if you're going to include the plus or minus category, it had to be next to my name as well. And I was like, why is this here? And I scrolled down and found it was Kentucky Deluxe. And that was when we were the grumpy dummies. And I said, depending on when the social security check arrives, it goes up or down by six, which is hilarious, dude. Not to mention I had forgotten our highest score, both individually and together, was the 4.1 Black Arts. We both gave it a 96. Yeah. The 4.1. Huh? The yes. 4.1 4 Black Arts. Right. Right. Because um, I was scrolling our aggregate score, which is awesome, by the way. And, uh, and I was like, holy moly, what happened here? And I scroll over, and I'm like, oh, the Black Arts 4.1. And I was like, goodness. And, uh, yeah, I think the only thing that came close was our, uh, oh, oh, gosh. Now I'm going to forget the Glens again. The one that just came out this morning. <laughs> Glen Goyne. Yes, I, I almost, yeah, sorry. I almost said Dronic again. Yeah, and on that one, boy, did our scores really come out interesting on that. Um, Ju Kim just asked when we're doing the 5.1 Black Arts. And we were going to get together tomorrow and shoot a couple reviews, but with your sick kid, we're probably not going to. But we are going to do that one coming up. And also along with the Black Arts 5.1, what else is happening, Bart, with that review? Do you remember? Oh, God. I've been in the midst of a, of a diphtheria outbreak here. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Cask one coin two hundred and fifty will be oh. uh, used during that show, sure. and then and then put on and then put on eBay. Yeah, I didn't know that's where you were going with that. I thought I thought I was trying to rack my brain for another bottle that we were talking about. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I couldn't even come up with another disease. I, I repeated diphtheria. <laughs> <laughs> I've had yellow fever, bubonic plague, diphtheria. I'm sure there's something else that's in there somewhere. It's it's. Uh, I'm I'm telling you, I think the scotch may actually help me avoid whatever's going on upstairs. Because if anybody's been exposed, it's this cowboy right here. I'm telling you. <laughs> now, hold on now. Uh, food quig should be in by now. What yeah, is he going should, on? He should be. He must. But he hasn't been commenting, so he must be running through the setup. Which the devil's milk just asked, curious why we wanted to surprise him instead of getting him set up. I debated it, which way to go with it. And like I say, I was really hoping he was sitting down doing his own live stream recording of us. And then right. in the midst of that, he would get the email would pop up and he would be surprised. Then he'd have to cut off his own live stream in his excitement right. to come join us. I pictured shrieking like a freshman girl asked to the prom by a senior. That's what I pictured. He's probably getting ready. That's, he probably had to go put on a shirt, comb his yeah. hair. Yeah, he's probably topless. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just, it's hot. We're getting into the, it's June. He may have been without a shirt and just ensconced with his lecheg. Yeah. And plus, we had, we, we've got a couple, well, we've got at least one other thing we can talk about in the meantime while we're waiting. So we knew we would have uh, some stuff to talk about. So along with the new website that we hit on, 
uh, July July eighth. We're gonna start teasing this. We are doing yeah. a twelve hour live stream marathon. So we're gonna start it. We're gonna start at noon central and we'll end at uh, midnight central time. Right. We'll have guests on in forty five minute segments, and then we'll take 10, 15 minutes off in between each show. I got a name for it. Now you can mix this, but you're gonna love it. It's called Twelve Hours of Boom. Twelve Hours of Boom. There you go. <laughs> That's it. I got we we got twelve hours of boom coming July eighth. See, tell me that doesn't roll. Uh, Food Quig's trying. He's having trouble getting the hangouts to work. Cool. Uh, All right. Now, now uh, cousin Shane has said he's going to make an appearance. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hours of boom. Yep. And he's yep. bringing a guitarist, acoustic. So you're going to get treated with with a little bit of musical something or another. Now I told Scott I might sing Kumbaya, and then I he said sing a few verses, and as soon as I sung like verse two, I was like, maybe that won't work. <laughs> yeah. I just remembered singing that around a campfire, and, and then I was like, oh, got it. See, it was a little odd, but Cousin Shane will be here. That, he's already locked in with, with the guitarist, from his band yes so that is cool that's that is so 12 hours of boom i like that that literally just popped in and i thought you can mix it but i think you're gonna like it. i like it see i like Good. your ideas you don't like my ideas i like your ideas you have great ideas you no, are no jamie what? jamie says we can't do a bottle of wow each one we wouldn't make it the whole 12 hours that would this, probably be a good show, though. Right. That might be the swan song, the, the 12th episode, because what we're going to do is break these. It's going to be a straight 12 hours, but we're going to do a 45-minute show with a 15-minute break, and that will also allow us to – these won't go out as Patreon uh, paid shows, but they're going to post as 12 individual shows. So it will be 1 to 12, 2 to 12, 3 to 12, all the way up. Um, so you'll be able to watch them later, but that's a Saturday. So people hopefully, and it's the Saturday after the 4th of July, um, it should be an experience. We might even have uh, some people calling in. Ever since I, I, uh, I dropped that deal and Scott called me on the live show and put me on speaker, we both agreed that worked really well, and we can see us doing maybe a little call-in stuff, you know, with little, little guests. Who else can we tease anybody else that is guaranteed they're going to be there, even though well, we don't we've have got, And um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a few alternates on standby. Uh, we'd love to have everybody back in. We can't. we got a couple new people that are coming, a couple new reviewers, a couple fans. We've got um, uh, the whiskey store, the liquor store owner who hosted our fir very first tastings almost 10 years yeah. ago. Uh, yep. Kind of got us got us going really in whiskey. He's going to join us for the the second hour. So as, as we finalize it, we'll start finalizing times that we're having people on, and then we'll put it on the website, the new website that is. Right, and I'm going to tell you, it wasn't, oh, wasn't really for the twelve. Hey, 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 lucky! Oh, lucky. who is this? Uh, it's just me. <laughs> yes. Food Hey, hey, hey. No, am I supposed to put these? Am I supposed to put these headphones on? Those will yeah, probably help. We are getting a little bit of feedback from the speaker because there'll be like a three or four second delay. So those can those may help. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll wait for you. I love the bear shirt. Thanks. <laughs> Did you have to go put that on? You were shirtless, weren't you, Food Quig? Uh, no, no, I just, I just was having problems with the. Oh my boy, I love the bear shirt. Thank you. <laughs> let, let me just put this on. <laughs> I still like the I idea that you were talking. I just, I just was having problems with the. You're good. I'm going to go with the topless story is what I'm going with, just so you know. Let me show. I believe you were completely topless. And uh, you grabbed the bear shirt because it was handy. Oh, how's that? Can you hear us all right, there, Food Quig? Okay, wait. 
Oh, I'm not plugged in yet. Good, oh. good. We got, we got you good. Yeah, you're looking good. Can you hear us? Shit. Are nope. you plugged in? Hold on, that's all right. We're gonna make this work. Oh yeah. He's all right. He's all right. Now his he's got like a better connection. He's dominating the video. <laughs> We're gonna make this work. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. He's all right. He's all right. I th I think you're still good. No, oh. he's he's got like a better connection. He's dominating the video. Shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Scott ninety eight percent of the time. I think. Oh, I did. oh no. And it's, oh yeah! Look at this! <laughs> Woo! I love it. Yeah. That is awesome. Look at that. Now we're going to talk about two other things in a little bit too. I want to talk. This is for the future, not right now. We're going okay. to talk about the wall of cans and boxes behind you and part two again later, not now. Okay. We're going to talk about your food quig patented shaking of the liquid in the glass. All right. So just know we're going to come back to that. Now, oh, Scott. Okay. All right. Scott, do a lead in on on some more food quig stuff. Uh, well, food quig, you've been reviewing um, for a few years on YouTube uh, whiskey reviews. You also have a, a tax. You're a taxi driver, is that right? And you have a taxi uh, yes, show drive, as well. I drive a taxi and I do a, a vlog. Uh, I use this phone to record uh, uh, video clips, and every day I download them uh, to. Uh, well, what are those things called? Um, Dropbox and put the because I have a Mac computer, but I have an Android phone, so I can't just plug this phone in. So I have to use Dropbox to get my files from there to here. And so I got my everything's sort of a a, a make do uh, setup. Uh, nothing is done according to the way it's supposed to be done over here. Well, you are unique, sir. You are unique. I, I just make stuff work. I'm not an engineer or anything. I just make stuff work somehow and find a way somehow. And if, when I find a way, then I know it. I know it really well. But if I'm doing something new for a change, like going on to this, uh, these live streams, I had a real pain of a time trying to get these things oh, to work the first couple you're times. You were good because here's, here's what you don't have that I got, Scott. <laughs> oh, there you go. Because if I didn't have Scott, you we wouldn't even be doing live feeds yet he got tired of me trying to figure it out and i i was setting up a business account and it wasn't working and all of a sudden he's like let me take it over and i'm like no i got it and he's like no you don't and boom <laughs> he took it over and that's what made it happen so yeah trust me food quick you're way ahead of me brother all right well, you've been saying it when oh yes yes i still let's, have all right let's pour it let's just pour it Get it, well, get it poured out in our glasses here. I already did, but I'll top it off. Yes, top it. Well, it's a good thing you d decided to do this now because we're getting precious low on that. Woo, yeah. When I saw you, and Scott made a comment on something on one of my videos or on one of my live streams to hold on to the Lafroy Glore, which I still have some of that. So Yes. That's, I thought it was for this, but now you're telling me about, and I was just about to blend the lechegue with something else. Uh, <laughs> so your timing was just oh, spot on. Yeah, well, uh, and I knew you had that one, and then also you said the other day you had the burp, the uh, the uh, bullet 10-year as well. So I thought, okay, we've got a couple options we can go with here. Uh, not getting with you ahead of time is like trying to figure out what you had. We hadn't done the lechegue yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, so, and, and most people, let me say real quick too, at first, like most people, I thought it was Ledeg. I thought that was a hard D, but, yeah. and you can go, uh, someone else that, that tunes in a lot, Octave Vite. Yes. He has, he has a very good, um, YouTube video on pronunciation of, of distillery names. Yeah. So, I haven't seen that yet. I've just been so busy lately, uh, keeping up with all of you, your videos and, Every time you put somebody on this uh, on this live show, uh, there's more people to subscribe to that I hadn't heard of before. So uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing that. Now, what did you say when the when you saw that email was sent to you a little bit ago? Well, um, it's to set the scene. Set the it's scene. It's recorded. It's recorded. And, <laughs> and and I thought, oh, and, and when you were saying there was a bunch of people. Wait a minute. Let me find it. <laughs> well, I'm going to put it up after this yeah. anyway. Yeah, put it up after this. We'll go enjoy it. That'll be a that'll be a cool thing. And maybe I think I don't know if we can do it, Scott. You probably know if we're able to even link to it on maybe our uh, web page and put his his video up there. That'd be kind of neat. I don't know if we can. Yeah. Do it. Hold on. I'm seeing a technique of a bottle of a of a moving of the. Look at that. 
That's like a full, you almost got your torso involved with that even. No. <laughs> That's emotion though. When did you pick that up? Well, I saw, okay, I was watching Ralphie. Like I've been watching Ralphie for about, for a long time. And he has these big hands that he can just sort of glide the glass in his hand. Uh, but my hand isn't big enough to, to just do that. And I'm scared of spilling what's in there. So uh, this way I hold on to it tight. It's not, it's not uh, slipping out of between my slippery fingers and I'm, I'm holding it so that I, I have it. If it. But Ralphie does something, I can't do it. I'm, I'm just not coordinated enough to, to, to do it like in the hand and like, I don't know. I'm trying, but, but I, 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 call it, I call it the food quig anaconda. That's good. That's really good. Uh, I, a couple other people have commented on that before. One guy uh, in the live, when I was doing a live stream, said that that it was like a breakdance move. And uh, and uh, Mark, I think Mark is on here from um, Whiskey Whistle. He made a comment on it too, saying that it was really wild, uh, wild move I got. It draws the ditch. What do you got on the new on the nose there, Food Quick? Oh my goodness! I got Lechek Ten. I've got some. Uh, I got some mild, mild peat, but this has been oxidized for a few months, so you might be getting more peat than I am. I'm getting some something fruity underneath that. I have to dig really deep. Lemons. I agree. Yeah, I would say lemons. Citrus, anyway. Right, almost like the rind of the lemon. Yeah, that they would call that, I think, lemon zest. Yes. Yes. So I'm getting that. And now that the, the peat is sort of moving aside, the smoke is moving aside, it's mostly, yeah, lemon zest. And there's a few other little components in there that I, at this point in time, I got it. My, my nose is off today, and I'll tell you why. Is because this afternoon... I went to a distillery. I visited a local distillery where they make, um, well, I got the bottles over there. They make a thing called uh, Prince Dougal's Dram and another one called Among the Heather. I've already put the Among the Heather video up, but I haven't done, I, I made the video last night and I got a little carried away. And then somebody, <laughs> had, commented, somebody had commented that I should actually put, uh, uh, go to that, distillery since it's only a few minutes away so I thought well all right and then I booked my tour online and uh, I walked a little ways and then called a cab because I'm not going to be driving to a distillery so they make beer there and they're making whiskey but the whiskey that they have is coming from uh, from the UK uh, it's from from Scotland they have like four whiskeys blended into each one they have two of these blends that are available in two stores on Vancouver Island and at the distillery. Then they have some cask strength, cask strength stuff that's 57% alcohol by volume. And they have three of those bottles. They're also blends of, uh, of Scotch whiskey, but they're bottled here in Canada. And mm. uh, those are only available at the distillery in the cask strength. So I was there, but since I bought about uh, four whiskeys last night, I, I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get those at some other time. I didn't have any money left today. Now that's a good uh, that's a good point. Where, if if you're willing and you don't have to, uh, what city do you live in? This is uh, Victoria, in British Columbia. Wonderful. And it's on Vancouver Island, so I'm not really in Vancouver. I'm on the island, and I found out recently that Tranny and C are also on this island somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but. Who knows maybe we'll cross paths someday wow yeah you should you should yeah those guys those guys uh well i they hate duke whiskey and i don't <laughs> mind it you know it's it's not bad it's just too expensive sure so the the the, the whiskey uh that 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 whiskey uh the uh yeah i did i mention i went to a brewery <laughs> yes. yes you did and, yes. and, so, and so at this brewery, we tried three different beers. There was a, a, 
pale ale. There was a uh, there was a wheat a wheat beer, kind of like a Belgian style, and then there was a porter, and then we also had the two whiskeys. So the beer completely messed up my taste. Oh, um, it and I couldn't enjoy the whiskey so much because I'd had the beer and the bitterness and. You know, I tried drinking water to to do that, and I'm just getting that taste out of, out of my mouth. And now I'm here. I thought I would have enough time to. Uh, um, You're good. You're to good. do this, uh, or just just to get on here and maybe enjoy a, a lechag with you guys. But I didn't know that I'd be going live. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, our fault. Now, Scott, what flavor notes are you getting off of this? Uh, for, first of all, I even had to go behind the scene, see the scenes food quig to get your email address. So, oh, but yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on the nose, I get a little bit more peat than I expected. I'd heard it was kind of a mild, mild peated. And this is a, a, a to it's from the Tobermory distillery, the, a yes. peated version. Right. Um, I get peanuts, salt, a maltiness, a little bit of a medicinal note to it. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, there's, a, there's a salty sea spray kind of thing going on too. Yeah. Uh, this is um, bottled at 46.3% as well. What's your Canadian version? Same. Okay, good. We get some bottles that are supposed to be UK market and some bottles that are supposed to be United States market. So we, we get some bottles that are 70 centiliters and others that are 750 mils and um, Mostly we get the U.S. stuff, but there are some of them that they don't import here, so they have to get the U.K. one. Because uh, a lot of things that we get come through your country to get here. Sure. Yeah. On my notes, I said uh, sea smoke. I definitely get the brine. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I get the peat, and I get... Right now, I'm even getting almost a little bit of that creosote smell that you'll get from like an old railroad tie. Yeah, a little bit of a tar, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's not as not as much as a Laphroaig. It's a different different character than Laphroaig, but it's still there. The creosote, and that's one of the, the notes that I get from things like like Laphroaig and Art Bag, and and uh, this is the only bottle of Lechag I've ever seen uh, in in you know in person because that was the only one left on the shelf when I bought it. Wow. And uh, we don't have Tobermory Tobermory here at all. But um, I got this one. This one was a prize, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it anytime soon again. Very and nice. And, and wrapped in there, I do get that lemon zest that you mentioned. Yep. I would say a citrus. I don't know that I'd say lemon. A powdered sugar almost. Uh, um, an orange maybe. Maybe lemon. Yeah, it's interesting to bounce these, these, uh, these notes off of other people like this. Uh, a lot of fun. Otherwise, I'm just doing it blind and going, oh, well, what am I, what am I smelling now? What am I tasting now? But this now, what, what was the other whiskey food quig do you remember that we had on during the live stream when you were watching and you recorded yourself tasting it with us? What was that? Oh, that was the one you did with, uh, with Swami. Uh, Glenn Farkless. Glenn, no, it wasn't the Farkless. It was um, – uh, let me get it. Yeah, what was that? I'm remembering too. Wasn't that the uh, Spring Banks? The oh, no, that's it. Yep, Spring Bank. Yeah. yeah, I got it. It's still almost full. I've only had one pull from it, and that was the time I was watching you guys. Beautiful. <laughs> so I, I, I'm ready to do a Spring Bank or a <laughs> roar, or I got my my Blend One Jungle Juice. <laughs> blend this, One Jungle Juice. Yeah, this is uh. It's a lot of young Canadian whiskey, a couple of new make things in there. And anytime I got a whiskey I'm not too crazy about, I just put it in there. <laughs> I was planning on doing some more, some blending this evening. I don't know if I'll be able to keep going after this show, but there are people who wanted to see me, and I don't know if they watch you. But uh, I was going to do some blending because I received a package um, over my shoulder there. There's, there's like a package. Like, I see it. Of all the whiskey there. Yeah. That came from one of my uh, most uh, ardent su subscribers. He's uh, He goes by the way of uh, Jackass Whiskey and Pinto Beans, but we call him Pinto for short. Wow. And I, saw, yeah, I saw him commenting on uh, one of your live streams that I was watching. Mm -hmm. 
and that guy, he sent me, he sent me this, this because he was tired of seeing me change my glasses when I wanted to read. <laughs> so he sent me this. So nice. It's become very useful, you know. You got the fine print in there among Scotland's distilleries and so on. Uh, yeah, he sent me that. Now he also sent me some. Um, I haven't opened it yet because I want to open it uh, when I'm live tonight. Sure. Sure. And uh, what is it? It's um. He sent me some uh, some vanilla beans and some uh, staves to put in uh, to put in this stuff. This is, uh, you know, 50% white whiskey, or it's not whiskey, it's new make. This is this one is a, a, a malted barley. This one is a grain. Beautiful. Quite I'm going to blend those with uh, some of this old smoky moonshine. Look at you. <laughs> put a couple of staves in there. I'm going to use a fancy bottle like, you know, the Lyser's Legacy or something like that for my blend too. And then he has another blend where he puts 40 Creek Copper Pot in with some CRNHR, and then he uses something uh, peated, like, well, I was going to use one Lechegg and one Big Peat, because they're, they're almost done, so sure, they, they could add a little flavor to the, uh, to the occasion. So, and a couple other cheap Canadian whiskeys I'll throw in that blend, and he's the one who got me started on blending this uh, Pinto. Before that, I thought, oh, no, i got to be a purist. i got to be have what's in the in the bottle and my first experiment the jungle juice well i don't think it's any better than the sum of its parts but <laughs> <laughs> i know i like what you're doing like yeah. said, one thing we're always talking about is you got it we we bl totally believe in keeping the whiskey fun so yes. by, by doing that i think you're you're definitely expanding kind of you know especially if you've got some stuff you don't like and you decide to play around with it and blend it, it brings its own joy. Yeah, improving your knowledge. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, I've been, I've been learning stuff by leaps and bounds in the last couple of years from guys like you and from Ralphie and from Horst and, uh, and uh, more recently uh, uh, Malted in Montreal, Swami Suave, and then Whiskey in the Six and Chinese and C and uh, the, uh, the Bubba and the Beard and all these guys, you know, I'm learning something from every one of them every time I'm watching. Oh, yeah, we learn. We are constantly learning. And, by the way, Whiskey in the Six, is he not hot? He is attractive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that beard, baby. That I don't beard, think I could ever have that short of beard. No, so dark. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm like you. Dark I'm all three up. Dark and thick like that. I had a beard when I was – I've had beards for a long time just because I hate shaving. Sure. And uh, and I can get away with it. I don't have to uh, – I don't have to – well, I, I dress up a little bit. You know, I wear a shirt and a tie when I'm at work. But uh, the, the beard, you know, it makes you – I think it makes you look uh, tougher, maybe. Yeah, distinguished. Like, people don't mess with you so much. Man, I need a beard. <laughs> People mess with you, Bart. <laughs> they do. Oh. Yeah, they're always mocking me. <laughs> it's probably the mixing have, of the manga hey, and the cowboy hat. Bart, have you got into tasting notes or anything yet? Yep. Sorry, I haven't got into it. But I, are you ready? Give me some of your tasting notes, Scott. <laughs> Sorry, we got into beards. Yeah, brother. you got a little. Uh, hey, yeah. Bub and the beard. You know they got excited as soon as we started talking face hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see that. Go ahead, Scott. What are your tasting notes? Peat. I get a little bit of mint, like a eucalyptus. Uh, salted peanuts. A little bit of vanilla. And at 46.3%, it's very good neat. Oh. I haven't even added water. No, yes. This is delicious. In my pre-written notes, I have campfire at the beach. The taste yeah. makes me, yeah, makes me feel like I'm right at the beach. We got a big fire going. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. Then I get into a, uh, I, I definitely get a bit of like that, the sea salt. And then I get a, uh, what I listed, which is, um, I'm kind of getting now, is what I call a vinegar sweetness, which is a little oh, yeah. taste, right? Yeah. 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 The only part I didn't get was the peanuts. I got the salt. I got just about everything else, but not the peanuts. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on the peanuts. It's the roasted part that you're talking about, Scott? 
Uh, I get just a salted peanut. Okay. Okay, I'll have to dig deep for that one. Let me try again. My weird note was definitely the finish of that vinegar kind of lingering sweetness, almost like if you have a salt and vinegar chip. Mm, love salt and vinegar chip. Oh, I know. Mm. We, had, we had some of those come in from a fan in Michigan. That's right. Amy and Amy's husband. Oh, yes. Famous Amy and her husband, yeah. Oh, yeah. They sent these beautiful sea salt or uh, salt and vinegar yeah. chips and then this uh, – this barbecue chip that was phenomenal. Excellent. I got some things from Acuvite also. Ooh. Yeah, uh, those made it to you, uh, didn't they? They made it, except that the 18, the, 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 um, why am I forgetting names of whiskeys I'm so familiar with? Oh, don't worry. We got Highland Park. It was the Highland Park 18. That one leaked all over the place, and there was only about one-third of it left. So oh. I, was, I was able to taste it, but this is coaxing me to go and get some more Highland Park 18. So yeah. in, his package, in his package, he sent uh, – well, I, I have them right here. I got the samples right here. Sure. While you're doing that, Food Quig, uh, let you know Bubba and the Beard have commented uh, they are fans of your beard. They love the civil. They love the Civil War general look. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, They're beard strokers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was the Highland Park 18. That's the one that leaked out. Uh, I also have some uh, some Bal Blair, uh, a Gordon and McPhail, uh, Bal Blair, 21 year old, 43 percent. Very nice. That's still got half of that left. I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually make videos about these. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, this is a Bunahaven Moin Oloroso. Mmm, we've been hearing good things about that one. Yes, we have. Sixty point one percent and pure heaven in the glass. This is one wow. Of I and 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 this was a blind taste test. I was supposed to figure out what was what, and the only things I got right was the end points. Uh, I'd never done a blind taste test before, so I had I got the Oloroso and the Bal Blair, but the other ones, this one here's the Highland Park 21. Oh yes, which I got wrong, but and this one here is uh, is some uh, Springbank 15. Uh, I finished what was in there, but I had some more, so I put mine in here. So, nice. uh, all I need to get now to complete this is uh, Highland Park 18, and Ooh. I was gonna buy some last night, but I ended up getting some. Uh, Oh, a Glendronic cast strength. Mm, heard good things batch, about that one, too. It was a batch four. I got the batch four. They didn't have any five, but I saw Swami doing that one, and I thought, oh, man, I, there it is on the shelf. Got to try it. Do you have Glen Goyne up there, too? The only Glen Goyne I've ever been able to find was the 10. Okay. And I was, I was kind of underwhelmed by that one. Okay. But I hear good things about 12s and 15s and 17s and – very much so, very much so. I almost bought a, a Glenn Farkless 17 last night, but something else distracted me. So mm, The Farkless? It's a Glenn uh, Farkless. I like the 15, Far the Farkless 15. Uh, First of all, that sounds great. The 15 yeah. Farkless, the Farkless 15. I love it. Now tell me about your wall back there. Oh, yes, the wall. Yes. What do you want to know? <laughs> well, it's very impressive. Now those are all... Um, those are all like boxes from from whiskeys you've had, correct? Boxes and tubes, yeah, that I've been collecting over, uh, that I've had over the last, uh, well, since I moved in here. And maybe a few were from before I moved in here. And I've been here almost two years. Awesome. Now, i got to ask you, is gravity holding those in, or do you, like, glue them together? Yeah, they just lean against the wall. If you look back at my older videos, you can see just two or three uh, tall and two or three and two or three. And slowly it's been growing and um, just getting there. Now, Eventually I won't fill the whole wall. Yes, because I see some of, uh, I see some Glenn Levitt, uh, what is that, Nadura back there maybe? Oh, there's a lot of things there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, they're a little out of focus, but I can kind of tell. I, I would have to go look. But I okay. see some Glenn Levitt. Glenn Livet Nadura. I, I believe I have. I'm, I'm trying to see where I put it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's right next to the Doers. 
Yep, right next to the doers. Right underneath the Mortlock? Yes, the Mortlock box. And there's two Klein leashes above that, the 14 and the Distillers Edition. I love that. I see a compass box a little bit lower by your package that came in the mail, I think. Uh, yes, yep. the Lust Blend. I've got two of those up there. That is perfect. <laughs> now, do you is there a Dura or a Jura in there? Oh, I've got four of them. Yeah, I was gonna say I have not had that yet. What do you? Oh. You're, we're missing out, aren't we? Well, I'm missing out on some things, and you guys are missing out on some things, and it, it's. I have to go now. I'm I'm broadening my horizons and visiting more stores because some stores have stuff I have never seen here. Yeah, and and I go to a new store and they've got stuff I've never seen before, and I'm going, oh wait a minute, that that that. I picked up I picked up some Ardmore for the first time last night. <laughs> I've never had Ardmore before. You bet. I picked that up last night, and uh, I'm just looking for for new things to try. And there's a few favorites that I'll go back to if I can find them. Sure. Beautiful. But what, what else you got, Scott? Sorry, I stepped on your food quig. What else you got, Scott? That's okay. I've got to ask, what does food quig, fair quig, and meh quig? <laughs> Mean. Okay, when I was a when when my sister and I were growing up, we were kids, you know, and we used to play around a lot. And uh, one of my uh, my nickname, she called me Quiggy when we were playing around. And a, and a Quiggy is sort of like a mythical beast that we made up. And uh, the uh, she still calls me Quig to this day, and we're we're both you know in our fifties. So <laughs> that, was, uh, that is awesome. That so is when awesome. I, when I started on YouTube, I didn't I didn't want to put my real name on there, and uh, I didn't want to put um, I just didn't want it. I, I I wanted to be pretty anonymous, and I, I was good. I I thought okay, I'm gonna make ten videos, and and I'll have said everything I want to say. <laughs> That's where I started back in two thousand and six. Yes, there you go. And, uh, mm. I think your your arm technique with the bottle is now going to be called the Quig Anaconda. The Anaconda. The, so, anaconda, the anaconda Quig. Cool. I love it. Keep going, so, brother. So so my sister called me Quig, and, and there was Mad Magazine. Remember Mad Magazine? Oh, yes. Years? There was one. They used to have these movie satires in there. And there was one about the exorcist. And they usually have these little characters in the margins next to the main thing that's going on. And uh, so you had, uh, you had these two priests walking through the park talking about the exorcism and all that, if, you're, if you remember that scene from the movie. But in the Mad Magazine, there were two rabbis, two little rabbis in the margin going, Fah, goyim. So... <laughs> Which of course fat means fat, and goyim is like Gentiles, right? So, uh, I just put the fat and the quig together, like, you know, highly undesirable creature, you know, fat quig, <laughs> and uh, that was my way of being anonymous. And then, of course, uh, my ex and I, we used to go do restaurants. We used to go out to restaurants every week, and we used to go dining. And every time we'd go dining, I'd make a video. So. <laughs> That spun off of the, off of the Fequig channel, and I called it the Food Quig channel. Slowly, that morphed into more of a whiskey thing. Where, that's where my interests went, and uh, so that's where that one. And what to what to put a taxi? Taxis are kind of meh, so it's the Mequig channel. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. It's nothing more. Than, nothing more than that. I mean, I could have called myself something else, but. I think it's easy enough to remember. It's just a few letters, you know. And I even have uh, I have another channel which is uh, it's it says Feckwig, but it's spoiled spelled differently. It's spelled with a ph and e k w i g. And I got a Google Mail uh, account. It's Feckwig at gmail dot com, and that would be spelled p h e. K W Y G. So it's it's another Fequig channel with another spelling. Perfect. So I just have I just played around with that. 
it stuck. It's it still worked, and they tried to get everybody. One once upon a time, I don't know if you guys were on YouTube that long, but they tried to get everyone to put their real names in there, and they would they would nag you. They would nag your your screen. They want a full name, a first name, and a second name, and a first name and a second name. They would nag you and nag you and nag you, and I just I uh, I resisted the temptation. I stayed freckled, and so we're still there. Perfect. <laughs> Now, uh, Scott, what are some of the comments coming in? I know we can have some comments. Yeah, I can't read them from here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me neither. I had a little bit of a uh, reverb going on there. I was wondering, we're coming up on the hour mark. Do we have time for another dram? If we do, I doubt we're going to have one that all three of us have. I've got the Lafroig lore, which okay. Food Quig has. Right. You know, you've got the spring bank if he wants to do spring but i'd hate to go spring oh. bank after this no no you guys go lore and i will go peated english whiskey company oh cool yeah yeah this comes from raj whiskey raj sent this for us to review well that's another one i don't know whiskey oh, raj. yeah yeah, Raj is is great. Well, he's not he's not a video reviewer. He is oh, a distributor, Twitter. importer. Oh, he's on Twitter. Okay, I don't do Twitter. Mm. I've got I've got so many things to watch already that I don't need to be. What what was that? I saw something on your hand. Can we see that? That says Tomatin. Tomatin, yeah. I've got to reach out to Tomatin because we're going to do, um, and you you definitely need to. We we may even have you call in or something. We'll see, or at least we'll we'll talk to you directly on the show. But we're going to do twelve hours of boom. We're going to do twelve hours of live shows oh. on yes, July eighth in one I, city. Well, we're going to do. We're going to have forty five minutes with a fifteen minute break where we'll like have a masseuse like prep us for the next show or something. I don't know. <laughs> a great big Scotch test dummy marathon. Yes. It's going to be a Scotch test dummies whiskey marathon. And there's going to be craziness ensuing. Uh, cousin Shane's going to be on. He's bringing a guitarist. Uh, we've got other guests lined up and uh, make sure you tune in. Oh, that's really wild. So let me check my calendar here if I can get it to work. Okay. Uh, my calendar says you see, it's a July the 8th. Right. Ah. No, that's June. Sorry. Yeah, July the 8th is a Saturday. Ah, Saturday. Saturday. Now, you guys are going to start at what time? Because uh, uh, it'll be noon, noon central time till midnight. That's right. And I've got to point out that we started planning this a couple weeks ago. Yes. Yeah, so down. I created a spreadsheet, got on it, got four or five invites out. Uh -oh. well, so got with Bart. I said we got to get this hashed out. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Oh, well, since we're doing twelve nothing. hours, he's mocking me. He's mocking me, food quig. Out of out of all our guests, Bart has one now to contact, and he had to write it on his hand so he wouldn't forget oh, it. Oh my God! I did lock in cousin Shane. Oh, well, I work with him every day, so that's right. a good thing. That's Not anymore. Thing. You don't. Not anymore. You only work with him on Tuesday. That sounds like a lot of fun, and I, I'll join you guys later on after I've had a sleep because I work Friday nights. Sure. In the morning, I come home completely wiped out. I want to have two or three grams, go to bed, sleep, and relax. And since you're on for 12 hours and you're starting at 12 Central, that would be 10 here. Right. So, right I'll sleep about six, six hours maybe, and I'll be on for the second half of the show. Who knows? Now, I will give Scott full credit. He really lines up 90% of the live shows. I think I've only lined up, what did I line up, the uh, Tomatin guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, do, 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 is that it? Is that all I've done? Yeah, and you emailed them, and then I did the uh, pre-hookup uh, registration. Uh, come on, now. I could do the – no, I did a pre-hookup with somebody else, though. Who else did I do a pre-setup with? Oh, Freud War. I don't know. I did, I did one of their pre setup. But, hey, real quick, though, before we do move on, uh, me and Food Quig are having the uh, Lafroy Lore next. Bart, you're going to have the English Whiskey Company peated cask strength. Uh, Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. The Lecheg, the Lecheg 10 that I got was $59. Whew. 
What? Oh, and I would say it's worth it. I've got. Oh, I got um, a good I've got a score of 88 on the Lechegg 10. I'm saying 92. Mm. Now, Scott, what, 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 food quake, do you score or no? I don't typically score. I just give the qualitative uh, impression of what I've enjoyed. There you go. Don't do it then. Don't make us. Don't. No, no, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see your qualitative impression of the Lechegg <laughs> tonight, food <laughs> I, I don't. I don't typically. I, I'm kind of like uh, like Horst. I don't. I don't score. You're That's good. Our scores are really only meaningful for us or somebody that totally digs one of our palettes. Because I always say, you know, if I, I mean, a score is pretty arbitrary. It's really personal to the person. Especially when you put the plus or minus in there. No, a plus or minus eight. Two plus or minus two on that one. <laughs> Okay. Some are going to go higher. That is right. All right. I've got my, uh, I've got my, the English whiskey company peated version is in my glass. Yeah. And uh, it is also very uh, Creo sooty from what I remember. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's a good follow on. The nose is a little richer. Okay. Wow. God, I love this, and it's starting to. I'm starting to get to the bottom of the bottle on it too. Now we got 48 percent on our bottle of the Lower Food Quig. What do you got? Same thing. Same thing. 48 percent, 750 mils. Uh, yeah, same thing. And I got uh, mine is a 60.9, boys. Ouch! You guys win, or you win, Bart. That's right. Say it, Scott. Who won? <laughs> Part one. <laughs> oh, speak it, brother. Speak it. I also see a little green spot in the background there, Food Twig. Gina. Yep, you got a little iris back there. I see it. Yes. You got the green spot. It's just to the left there. Uh, well, I shouldn't say the left, I guess, but. To my to my right to my left here and to my right there. If yes. you go above your package, like three cans up, it's slightly. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's two of them. That's that's one there, and there's another one uh, towards the right. Beautiful. Second from the bottom. Yeah, there is one there. That's right next to the Asila and the, the Craig Elihi and the Benria Curiositas. And there's a tomato there, too. Yeah. Love it. Love it. I still think maybe that's just one big blown-up picture, and those aren't real cans. <laughs> Ah, that's what I was hoping. Look at that. He's going to touch the picture. Those aren't real. That's just like a giant screen print is all that is. Oh, my God. Oh, it's real. Oh, they're real. Look at that. We can't see them because you keep talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now you're laughing. Quit laughing. Now, now watch me drop them when I put them back up there. Those are real, baby. Oh, yeah. Those are real. I was going to say, that's just a big screenshot banner you got it's there. A, Those are real. photograph that's been blown up, yeah. Wow, yeah, it's like a huge photograph. Blanket. A blanket, like you could wrap yourself in it next to the fire. Uh, a lot of comments coming in on the lore, wanting to know if we think it's worth it. We don't, I don't think we had enough time to go into a full review of it. Worth yeah, it. That's fine. Um, we can still enjoy it. Oh, yes, yeah, it's definitely. Uh, it, it's a peated and a sherry-influenced uh, scotch. It's uh, nicely balanced. Very nicely, nicely balanced. It, and it really reminds me of the Dark Cove, the Ardbeg Dark Cove. Okay, I've never tried the Ardbeg Dark Cove, but it's like a, it's like a gentler uh, version of Laphroaig Triple Wood. I found the Laphroaig had a stronger peat, and it had a stronger sherry as well. Mm -hmm. Love the triple wood. The triple wood is fantastic. I wish I could get some more. Yeah. I had one one bottle. What was it? Almost two years ago, and it was just amazing. Beautiful. Or was it last year? I forget what year it was. Now, mm. see, we've had that. Um, I picked up a bottle of that a while back. It was on sale for I think fifty three or fifty four dollars. Mm. Yeah, down your way over here, it probably cost me about a hundred. 
Oh, Lordy. Yeah. And this one cost, with the taxes and everything, about 205 Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we we got shafted here. Ugh. That's why when I when I retire, I'm gonna get a motorhome and I'll come down to Kansas and Texas and get yes, get whiskey yes. down here. Definitely, we'll have you up next to the fire. Mm. You wear your hat. This hat, I got it in 2008, the same year I went to the 888 YouTube convention. Oh, really? Yeah, it was the 8th of August, 2008. It was in Toronto, and it was the biggest YouTube convention there ever was. Wow. It was just massive, ginormous. So many people were at this thing, and everybody was producing content. It was incredible. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I found, I found this in a discount store for like 10 bucks. Oh, what a steal. And it's, it's you know, leather. It's real. I think it's made in China, but it's still leather. So, yeah, they got cows there, baby. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We had uh, back to the Lafroy Glory just real quick, though. We had uh, a couple guys at our liquor store that weren't that impressed with us, with it. And uh, they told us that. And so we kind of even held off opening it for a while. Yeah. And immediately upon when I did open it, I was like, "Oh, they were wrong. This is uh, yeah. some good stuff." Yeah, yeah, it's 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 subtle. It's it's not it's not it doesn't bang you over the head. It's a lot more refined. You know, the, the balance is there between the the peat and and the uh, and the sherry, but it's it doesn't overpower you. It, you know, for a forty eight percent, it's smooth as silk. Mm -hmm. it, is. it is, and I've got to go get some. Um, as soon as Scott started sampling it, he didn't tell me his notes, but he said, you're going to like it. Now, curiously enough, I'm getting some lemon zest on this one, too. Yeah, I can't remember my notes. I, Scott kind of surprised me with it. We did a review, and that review is out. Um, well, I'll tell you, uh, and a lot of times with, with heavily peated or more peated scotches, I can tell you it's sweet and maybe there's, it's a dark sweetness or a light citrus sweetness. But other than that, like this, I can't necessar necessarily tell you it's sherry that's jumping out at me along with the peat. I can just tell you that there's a, there's a darker sweetness in there with that peat, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I, I wish I could get, maybe my palate will come around to where some of those sherry notes will start to develop along with the peat. Well, I started the other way around. I didn't like sherry when I first tried it. Really? And, and I've only learned to like it. I had my aha moment with uh, Glenn Farkless 15. But before that, I had a Glenn Farkless 12. I couldn't, I didn't like it. I had some sherry finishes of, uh, there was a distiller's edition of Glenn Kinchy that I had, which I didn't like. Mm. Anything with sherry, and I go, that tastes like wine. I don't like it, you know? Mm. But as soon as I tasted the Glenn Farkless 15, that was my moment where okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna move into sherry, just like you moved into. Was it Big Peep that got you into? Uh, kind of for me, it was the Peep Monster and Peep Scott, Monster. Okay, yeah, Scott, what brought you around? It was the uh, 3DS from Brook Lottie, wasn't it? No, you know I was kind of starting to get into it before that a little bit. Uh, the 3D3, 3D3, the 3DS. My boy's got a 3DS. I'm sorry, <laughs> that that's. He loses that whenever he does something bad. He loses his 3DS. That, so, uh, that one did jump out at me, though, and make me uh, realize, wow, this is a good Pete. This is what it's about. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, uh, the basement drammer has asked, is lore twice as good as triple wood? No. Not no. twice as good. It is. I think it is better, but it's not twice as good. It's, it's, no. it's, 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 it's better. Yeah. Given that if I had a, a choice of the two bottles in front of me, I would probably take the triple wood because it's cheaper if I had to pay for it. Sure. And uh, if what if you didn't have to pay for it? If I didn't have to pay for it, oh, it's it's a tough it's a tough call. It depends on my mood at the time. <laughs> Good call, brother. I like do I want to get hit over the head by Pete? And by Sherry, or do I want it more refined and more gentle? You know, that's that's the question right there. But this is this is definitely a, a work of art. It's 
fabulous. Which one are you saying is more refined and gentle, the triple wood? Lore. No, the, the, the lore. You think the lore is more refined? Really? Yeah. Hoorah! I'm going to test it. I'm going to pull it out side by side. Oh, look at this. Oh, there you go. He's got his triple right back there. I don't even have the triple. You have me at a disadvantage there, Scott. It's the same here, brother. Look at you. I'll let you, I'll let you know, Mel. Oh, Troja's on? Yeah, that's the basement drammer. He's the one that asked. That's right, Troja. He rips his packages open with his teeth. <laughs> Like a food quig. Yeah. It's like he eats the package. He's got to get to what's now, inside. Before I, before I forget, too, I got to say I love your little, uh, I think it's your outro where it goes, food quig, food quig, food quig. Uh, and you got the burp in there. Yeah, we got the burp in there. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that part. <laughs> I'm anti-loud burpage. All right, the triple wood also bottled at 48%. So it's right along in there with the lore. Yeah. And I do have a little bit of water on my lore, so I'm just going to add a little splash right there with the triple wood. That's good. And I'm just teasing you, Food Quig. It's funny. Uh, as you know, in some shows there, Scott has his amplified burp, which is the same thing my 10-year-old does now. It's just like a test it. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, blah, blah. yeah, that's what he does. He learned that in college, and he's that's like his only college skill that still remains. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we had somebody comment a little while ago, Scott. Did you see that? They wanted to know if you and I were a couple. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I, said, we're, I said, we're a couple dummies. I said, I'm our like, wives think we are. Yeah, I, well, I left it all ambiguous. I'm like, we're a couple dummies. Your wife definitely calls us a couple all the time. Oh, my God. He's closed his eyes. He's having a moment. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, and that's what I thought going in. To me, the Lafroy lore is is darker and richer and peatier. Uh, to me, the triple wood comes off a little bit lighter and a little bit more citrusy and, and lighter with the peat as well. And I think if you go side by side, Food Quig, you might see that too. Really, a little blind tasting. Yeah, uh, I'm just going on my memory for the for the uh, for the uh, triple wood. I just know that it wowed me when I tried it. Oh yeah, it's deli I mean, it's delicious enough. I bought a bottle, um, you know, and I'm not even the Pete guy. Bart's the Pete guy, and he doesn't have a bottle of it. You know what? I might have a bottle. You keep saying that. I might. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Let me check. I don't think you do. He's got uh, Bart has bought a Lefroy 10 and Lefroy 10 cask strength by the case. He probably has at least a case or two of each of those in his storage room. Wow. Actually, we've, we've also had good sales on those around here um, in the recent past. Uh, Lefroy 10 for 29 bucks a bottle and the cask strength for like 32, 34 dollars a bottle. Their idea of a sale around here is uh, two dollars off a bottle, <laughs> and the Wild Turkey One Hundred and One is what I, I don't know, like thirty something, and they take two dollars off of there. And my friend Mike down at the liquor store was saying, "Well, uh, you know, uh, we have some uh, Wild Turkey One Hundred and One on sale. It's two dollars off." Well, yeah. gee, thanks. <laughs> That's not quite the sale I was looking for. Exactly. We're going to have to rectify this. You're right. Uh -oh. All I've got is I've got the quarter cast, yep. the cast strength, and the regular tenure. And these are all full bottles here. I thought I had a little stash of the triple. Boom. Bam, bam. There's one of my favorites right there, the cast strength 10. And then you can't go wrong with the standard 10, but you're right. Okay. So I am missing the triple, baby. I have no problem getting quarter cask. That's easy. The 10 is easy to get to, but I've never seen the 10 cask strength in the stores here. Really? Yeah, really. Now, what else have we got? Have I got another Lafroy here? Now, oh. I was telling them, Bart, that you've bought that by the case, but that's because it's been, we've had really good sale prices. The 10 we've seen at $29 and the 10 cask strength at like $32, $34 a bottle. I had it even better than that. 
We had the one place put the regular t- or uh, put the ten and the quarter cask on for twenty four ninety nine. What? Yep. And I knew that was never going to happen again, and that was why I uh, I went and got into the uh, I went and got into the savings account, and then the cash strength was twenty nine ninety five. Oh, yeah, and that was <laughs> January fifteenth. The the O seven bottle, uh, which oh, is what that one is. Yeah, and I, I haven't seen that again since. So any Lafroy gear costs about eighty or more. Wow, that's just for the ten. And oh, by the way, Bart, have you been able to try the Port Charlotte 10 Second Edition yet? No. No. I'm gonna have to get it because I love, I mean, the Port Charlotte, the Port Charlotte Scottish barley has probably become my favorite. Now the Isla Barley's good, and they're you can tell they're they're I mean they're like kissing cousins, but that Scottish barley Port Charlotte is my favorite. Favorite, favorite, probably moved into my number one, but I've not had the second edition. Yeah, the second edition P- PC-10. Uh, what turned me on to Port Charlotte was one time the same guy at the liquor store managed to have a bottle of 11 from the Peep Project. Oh, yeah. And and I I was still, you know, it's what, two, three years ago, and I wasn't – my knowledge wasn't there yet. He says – uh, you like Lefroy, right? I said, well, yeah, yeah. I, I get Lefroy 10, you know, every now and then. He says, try some of this. Wow. Port Charlotte 11. And as soon as I tried that, it just, it was like, wow. <laughs> hey, we have a Pete project from Brooke Lottie that uh, our buddy, the Whiskey Scout, found. And we haven't oh. reviewed it yet. But uh, but He's on here. He's watching. He's commenting, too, the Whiskey. Does it have an H statement on it? Let me go grab it. Hold on. Oh, man. <laughs> We got the Pete talking going now. We got the Pete lovers in the house. <laughs> All the Lafroigs are coming out. The Port Charlotte Brook Lotties are coming out. Great. Is that uh, that's where you lean towards food quig, Peted? That's where I kind of started, but I'm all over the place. I was there, then I was at towards Bourbon Barrel, you know, strictly Bourbon Barrel, and then I went towards uh, Virgin Oak Scotch, and then. Um, more recently in the last year or so, I've gone towards, uh, Sherry Bombs and I like all of it. Mm. Same thing with, you know, Canadian whiskey, Irish whiskey, um, Indian whiskey, Japan, well, Japanese, I'm still not too sure about. I haven't had enough of them to be sure, but, oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, oh my goodness. I've got yeah. this. And he found it, and I've tried it, but let me let me pull it open here because all right, let me see here. I'm gonna have to get my light in here. Hold on. Okay. But there wasn't a lot of information on here either, and it doesn't. I don't see a year. It's forty six percent ABV. Hmm. It says the peat project bottling brings together spirit from a number of different vintages for added complexity and is uh, and is head distiller Jim McEwen's statement of his vision for Port Charlotte. The power of peat with the elegance, complexity, and floral, I can barely read this, floral top notes for which our Brook Lottie stills are famous. I needed your uh, magnifying glass there. Yeah, I was I was about to hand it to you, but you haven't grabbed it yet. So <laughs> that is it. And so, uh, but that's that's all it says on here. Hold on. Um, there is a slight, slight printing on here that looks like a uh, almost like a little printer of twelve backslash two five two. And then a timestamp of 1614, September 2000. And then it's kind of worn off. Looks like 2012. Oh, okay. So the Whiskey Scout says that he has his Pete project out with you, Bart. Beautiful. The Whiskey Scout is phenomenal. 2012. Yeah, 2012. And I got the 11 in 2014, and first 
10 was probably came out in 2013. So maybe it's uh, nine years into the Peep project. Mm. They had one every, they put one out every, they released one every year. Really? Up, I, until, up until 12. And the 12 was one that I couldn't get. I'm, uh, I'm really, really becoming a Brook Lottie fan. Yeah. Brook yeah. Lottie and, uh, and Lafroig are definitely my wheelhouse. And really, Ardbeg's right there with their Dark Cove. Love, love, love their Dark Cove. We just filmed. It hasn't aired yet, but we did a versus between the Dark Cove committee release and the regular Dark Cove. And uh, it's amazing. Very similar. I won't ruin the show. Very similar, but also slightly distinct. Uh, distinct. Hmm. Well, what have I got now? <laughs> uh, I can quickly show you what I got for Pete. Do it. Or Isla. I'll just say Isla. Uh, I'm getting there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got can. We got uh, the classic Laddie. I haven't had one of these in about three or four years, but I'm going back to it. Nice. Going back to it to try it again because back when I started tasting whiskey, I didn't, I didn't uh, make videos of all of them. Sure. So going back to stuff I tried before but didn't make videos of. So, uh, what else we got here? Oh yeah, we got the Ardbeg Perpetuum. I have not had that. Yeah, that one's that one's nice too. This one I haven't cracked yet. It's a Lagavulin Distillers Edition. Nice. Yeah, I was lucky to find that. That was bottled like in 2013 or something. Beautiful. And we're on the cheap side here. Bowmore and McClellan's. Love both those. And I just did a video of these two last night. Very nice. Very, very nice. So the McClellan was, uh, we wanted to find, people wanted to find out if they're saying that the McClellan is really a Bowmore. And uh, what are the similarities and differences? So I, I sort of did a side by side. Beautiful. Have you released that, those videos yet? No, they're still they're still on the hard drive. I haven't right. I haven't updated them, but I, I plan on updating them this week. Beautiful. Subscribe, one. subscribe to Food Quig so you guys get that. We and, want to. Uh, we need you. Go ahead. We want you to post that video from earlier tonight when you were recording yourself. Yeah. Getting ready. Getting ready to watch us. And you we'll get invited to the show. We got we'll you. Got to post it. I will post it. I, I just have to render it. There you go. I picture you jumping up and clicking your heels together. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> oh, it was more like a panic. Is it me? Oh well, no. It's got to be somebody else. It's got to be somebody. Else. <laughs> this is what I was saying internally. I didn't. I wouldn't. I wasn't. Well, maybe I did say. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. But I'm going, well, you know, here I am trying to scroll scroll through and find my email and. Oh my goodness, there's a name. Bruno. Okay, right. Okay, that must be them. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> now hold on. Because it's a live show, I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of bottle of wow. It's about time to go, Bart. It's an hour and twenty-five minutes. Are you gonna stay I on? Oh. I don't know why I'm pouring this. Why don't uh, food quig, why don't you uh, give everybody your uh you know how they can find you. How uh, what what channel you put your videos out on? Why don't you talk about yourself for a bit? Okay, if you want to find me, you can find me at uh, my email address is foodquig at shaw. That's s h a w dot c a, not dot com. It's in Canada, so it's dot c a. So foodquig f o o d q u i g. Uh, the other place you can find me is on on my YouTube channel, foodquig. The YouTube channel, foodquig. I also do a Fekwig, that's another channel, but it's kind of dormant lately. And if you want to see any taxi vlogs, look at uh, Mehquig, M-E-H-Q-U-I-G, or just type in taxi vlog and you'll find them. I think I'm one of two or three people who does that in the whole world. So, uh, Beautiful. Because I know um, it was very, very meta that Scott gets a hold of me. I can't remember. What are we talking? Uh, three weeks ago, a month ago, uh -huh. he, says, he tells me, he calls me, I think, and says, you got to go check out this guy, Food Quick. <laughs> right? And I'm like, I, what, what do you mean? I haven't heard of this guy. He goes, well, he's watching our show, 
and he's he's doing his own show while he's watching the show, which is the whole meta thing. And and he goes, you just you just got to go watch it. And I think Scott sends me a link, and I'm watching it, and it was just it was just so cool to see you because uh, when we were tasting, I ended up picking up an odd ginger note, and you were like, yes, that's I get that too. I get the ginger. You know, but it was just so, I mean, it really, really cool to see you because like even before we started the live show, you were kind of calling it like, hey, they're getting ready to go live. You know, these guys are crazy. They're they're fun. You know, whatever. And it was just so nice to to uh, to watch your show. And then Scott calls me later. Did you watch it? Yeah. I go, yeah, I watched it. He goes, what do you think? And I told him everything I just told you. He goes, yeah, it was really, really neat. It's so feedback. Well, yeah. Well, so first of all, thank you. I mean, oh, I really, it was really like a window. I, I told him it felt like 1984 Orwellian that I could watch you watch us. And it was like a little gift, a little present. So thank you for even being a fan and watch. Well, it was my pleasure to do that because, uh, you know, I've enjoyed your show so much. I've enjoyed your, your reviews and all the stuff you get into. And, and with these live reviews, I thought they were they were super cool too, and when I when I uh, saw these things, I thought, "Wow, wouldn't that be fun to be on there?" And and here I am, you know. I, I I'm I'm thrilled. You guys have made my weekend. It's it's wonderful, awesome. wonderful to meet you finally live, uh, face to face. And uh, and uh, I, I don't know, I don't know how to express my gratitude. How, that's how good no, it's been. No, no, no. You have already done that, sir. Thank you so much. Hold on. Let me try. Let me try a little. I can't get your technique down. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna work on it. Yeah. See, you're much better. You got a little wrist twist, and then the let elbow me, is in. Let me try it. I've had more practice. <laughs> We're gonna right. get this. You got to get this patented. I'm telling you, it's called the the Quig Anaconda. Let's uh let's call it quits on the live stream. Uh, thanks to everybody that joined in. Uh, food quig, we're stay on the line. We'll be we're gonna get hook up with you here for a little bit yet and keep drinking. Sure. But, uh, I might thanks. have to run up and check on the bird flu. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks to everybody that joined in. We appreciate it. It was a great blast again. I'm glad Food Quig was able to uh, figure out Google Hangouts. Yes. Thank you for coming on with. I mean, totally short notice. It was my pleasure, and it's worth every little bit. Salancha, <laughs> Salancha dummies. Wait, that's not what you say. What do you say, Bart? Oh, sorry. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Salancha, dummies. dummies. <laughs>